Welcome to Xar template tutorial lesson number 60. In this Xar Web Designer MX Premium version 8 tutorial, we're going to be walking you through the process of how to add a audio player uh, to play your music on your website. And the reason that I am making this tutorial is because I had a YouTube viewer request on how to add a music file that will automatically start when the user loads the page and I'm also going to talk about how to add a music file that will play through an mp3 player that is not going to automatically start it's only going to start when the when the user that's visiting your website initiates it to begin playing the music so if you haven't already go ahead and start a blank new document in Xara Web Designer MX Premium version 8 and once you do that you're gonna go and look for your music file on your computer but before you do that I want to mention one thing it needs to be in an mp3 format and if you don't know what that means you know send me a message on YouTube and I will try to make a video uh, explaining how to convert it uh, you know if you have a different music for file format you know I'll try to tell you how to convert it into an mp3 format but nonetheless you have to have an mp3 file so make sure that's the type of file uh, that you're going to be dragging into Xara Web Designer MX Premium version 8 so let's go ahead and you know well in my case I'm going to look for my music file and you're going to look for your music file on your computer if you're following this tutorial so I'm going to go to start and then I'm going to go to my documents and then I'm going to go to my music and I'm going to look for the music in my sample music folder and one of the things that I want to show you here and yours may not look like this depending on how you have a, have your uh, folder set up on your computer and your viewing experience it, it may not be the same as what I have on screen here but typically if you look at the icon depending on what software you have installed you'll be able to see right away what type of file format it is and you'll see that out of these three files I have one file called an mp3 and that's the music file that you'll be able to drag into Xar with no problems and you'll see that there's some files that are called WMA and that's just Windows Media Audio again that's Windows Media Audio and if you place your cursor over it it'll give you some additional information and you'll see a section that says type and it says Windows Media Audio File and you won't be able to drag that in because it's not an mp3 file and let me show you what happens if I were to try to drag that in you'll see that it says error from Xara Web Designer MX Premium that file is not recognized by any of the installed filters so I'll hit OK so I know I can't drag that file in because it's not the proper format even though it's a music file and, and, and indeed it is a music file but let's go ahead and click on this mp3 file here and let's drag that into our workspace and if you drag that into your Xara workspace you'll see that it says do you want this audio to start playing automatically when your web page is viewed and you can choose from here you know if you wanted to auto start you would click the auto start key if you didn't want it to automatically start you will click the don't auto start in my opinion you know I'll just give you my my experience I think that you should set it to don't auto start take it like this for example imagine that uh, I'm a visitor to your website and you have a song playing that I don't like at all but I absolutely love your product well if you have bad music that really annoys me and I like your product it's a possibility that that bad music could deter me away from actually buying your product because I don't want to stay there to hear the music that I don't like so I think it's important to give the user a choice um, of whether or not do they want to hear your music so I would highly recommend setting it to don't auto start but if you want to you can set it to auto start by left clicking on that button but I'm gonna set it to don't auto start and once you bring that file in you'll see that it generates this mp3 player and you'll see that if you look on the screen here I don't know if you can see it but it has a play button and it has a uh, time 
showing how long the audio would last it has a volume button here uh, hopefully you can see that on screen here but let's go ahead and let's go to file preview website and you'll notice that if I place my cursor over this mp3 player it says the magic mp3 player doesn't work in this browser version when viewing locally exported pages once your website is published online the player will work in this and in all popular web browsers so depending on what web browser you have installed you may not be able to actually preview it or listen to your audio until you upload your website to the internet but in this case I would recommend actually using Chrome which I know works and if you go up to your upper right hand corner and you click on the Chrome option it will actually take you to that web browser and allow you to preview that music or listen to that music file without have, having to actually publish your website to the internet yet. And as you can see, it uploads this, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, not upload, it shows a preview of what this MP3 player looks like. And you can actually change uh, the value by clicking this button in here. And you can see it, it goes down as I click further to the left. If I click further to the right, it will increase that bar and this is controlling the level of the volume and if you were to click the play button it would play the music which you can see here if I place my cursor over it it turns to a darker blue and if I don't have my cursor on it it's a lighter blue if you click that play button it would begin to play the music I'm not sure if you can actually hear it because I don't have my external speakers on so if it's recording my internal audio you may hear this music or you may not uh, hopefully you do and you, you're able to know that hey you can play the music here and you can control the volume again by clicking in this box that's next to this microphone looking well speaker looking icon I should say and so that's how you control the audio and you can also adjust where you want the music to start at so maybe it's at 33 seconds like it is now but you probably can't see on the screen since it's so small but you can you can move the audio file forward and play towards the end or you can click back towards the beginning and listen to the music at the beginning so it, it allows you to control some of the parameters when you're listening to music and I can stop it by clicking on the, the uh, pause button and now it shows the play button so if I want to play the music again I would click the play button and it will begin playing that music again so that's how you add a uh, music player to your website that can auto start or not auto start depending on what option you select when you drag that music file into your your workspace in Xara but always remember at least for version 8 premium uh, to make sure you have an mp3 file format and if you don't have a music file format in an mp3 shoot me a message on YouTube and I will do my best to help you with converting your music file into a format uh, that Xara Web Designer MX Premium can interpret so I hope that this tutorial was very helpful for you and uh, showing you how to add music to your website and if you enjoyed this tutorial please give us a thumbs up share our video embed it leave comments favorite it you know any way to give us feedback to let us know that we're doing a great job so thanks again for viewing this tutorial and I hope that you stay tuned for future tutorials yeah.